Linux has what's called a super user account that can pretty much do everything. And it's called the root user account and comes default with every Linux system. It's similar to the Windows local administrator account. It can override any other privileges. It can access other people's files. It can change them. You can install software. You can change system files. So it can pretty much do everything. But like like Uncle Ben and Spider Man said, uh, with great power, you know, comes great responsibility. You know, the root user has the ability to make all these changes. It could easily delete a boot file, change a system file, and you could you could break the machine. So that you've got to be careful when using this account. And you've got to be careful when giving people the ability to use super user privileges, right? So how do we become a super user, right? I'm a super user now, right? I'm a root. But if, what if I wasn't? What if I logged in as a normal user? So say maybe I logged in as uh, Sora here, right? So you just saw I did a SU Sora, right? Um, and it, it made me Sora. Um, but you see how it's using this uh, root? Uh, shell right here. It's still using root shell. So let me go back here. Let me exit, and let me do this su dash. And now I'm <clears throat> oh su. And let me do an su uh, dash sort of. Right. So now you see it doesn't have root here like it did when I did su. Um, and that's because. It's created a brand new login shell from default. So that's the difference between su switch user and su dash switch user dash Sora. Is that if you use a dash, it's going to create a brand new login shell. And you're not going to carry over any environment variables that you may have set uh, from the previous account you came over from. So I'm going to go ahead and exit here. Exit one more time. And I'm back to root. Um, and we're going over, you know, switching between users. So su dash Sora. And maybe I want to become a Riku, so su dash Riku. It wants me to enter the person's password that I'm switching to. So you want access to Riku, what's Riku's passwords? Well, it's going to be Riku password. And now I'm in as Riku. And that's how you switch back and forth between users. Um, but what if you wanted to switch to someone with super user access, like root, right? So I'm on Riku, and I want to switch user root. Um, let's see. And now I'm root. Um, and that's just basic switching between users. Exit, 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 go back. Um, we have a pseudo command, right? So it lets users run privileged permissions, uh, privileged commands as root by entering your own password instead of root's password. So I don't have to so if I were to, let's say, switch over to Sora again and do a sudo yum install, right? It's going to ask me for Sora's password. That way I do not have to enter root's password because a lot of the times you don't want to have, you don't want people to be able to log in as root and you don't want to set a password as root. If people need to access root, you want them to be able to come into the system as their own user account and then escalate to the root count. And that's for security purposes. So it's asking me for my, my password. So sort of password. And you see it says I'm not on the pseudoers file and this incident will be reported. So I essentially don't have super user privileges and I can't run super user privileges using sudo either. So how do I go about fixing this, right? Well, if I wanted to give Sora super user privileges, there's two ways to do this. So there's a file, uh, let's see, let's do an ls-l here, and we'll do etsy sudoers. So there's a file in etsy sudoers that is only editable by root or someone with super user permissions. <clears throat> and that's where the uh, sudo configuration is stored. You know, what users and what groups have access to run, what sudo commands, where, as who. So if I go ahead and do a vi sudo, which is the recommended way to edit the, vi the etsy sudoers file, it's going to open this up. I'm just going to search for wheel here, right? And this is the wheel group, which is the default group that comes on Red Hat Enterprise Linux systems. And anybody in this group is going to have uh, sudoer privileges. And the way you read this syntax is 
you know, user or group, and you can tell the difference because here's a user, no percent sign, and here's a group. The percent sign signifies that this is a group. On any system with this file, right? So if I put this system, if I put this file on multiple systems, um, those systems are gonna, all of those systems are gonna be able to run all of these commands. So this says, what commands can I run? All of them. And who can I run them as? Who can I run as? Every uh, user on the system. You saw when I sudoed earlier, when I tried to do a sudo install as Sora, it asked for my password. You can go ahead and take away that option. So if I put no password here and do a uh, sudo command, it's not gonna ask me to enter my password. And there's another way to give someone pseudo permissions, which is uh, a way to, you know, say you had 10 auditors coming into your environment for 10 days, and they're only going to need permissions for that long. And then after that, you can just delete the file, right? The way to do this is if you go into scsudoers.d, right, you would put a file here for users you wanted to give pseudo permission. It would be the same as editing the let's see sudoers file so let me go ahead and i'm going to vi sora here i'm going to via file it's going to create the sora file and then i for insert what user or group do i want to sudo permissions to? it's going to be sora i want him to be able to run it from any system with this file i want him to be able to run any command and i want him to be able to run those commands as any user. Go ahead and save that. So now, if I, let me control out, clear the screen here. If I switch user over to Sora, right? Oh. I should be able to run sudo commands. So now, if I do a sudo yum install Sora, oh, uh, let's do git. Oh, it seems I have a syntax error. Let me exit here. Let me uh, so what do I got here? I forgot the equal sign. That'll do it. I for insert, escape, colon, right quit. All right, so now that I've got the Sora file in sudoers.d, Sora should have pseudo permissions. So we'll go ahead and we'll switch user Sora. And I should be able to do a yum in, sudo yum install git. I'll enter my password. And now it's going to run through the install for git. I'm going to go ahead and hit no because I don't want to waste time doing that right now. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of, you know, the super user has by default, every account, every system has a root super user account. You can, uh, gives people super user permissions. You can give people pseudo permissions, will, which will let them, let them run commands as root and the, those configurations to give people those permissions are stored in Etsy sudoers, or you can create a file in Etsy sudoers D. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, and in the next video, we'll go, we'll go over kind of managing users.